fuck? Allahu Akbar. Now that's edgy as fuck! Oh, well, well, it looks like it's going to be a new era. New shades, by the way. I have no idea what I'm doing with this fucking channel because I'm exquisitely fucking high right now. Hey, man. Hey, man. What are you doing over here, man? Like, you're supposed to make that fucking academic video. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, like, relax, dude. Like, I, I get it. Jordan B. Peterson, Patreon money and all that kind of shit, right? Like, I, I, I totally get that. But no, let me tell you something, man. I'm a small, uh, well, we're, we're basically a small ass fucking channel. We're not gonna blow up anytime soon, you know? We gotta take our sweet ass fucking time. And also, some of the files got corrupted, because during 420, I got really fucking high, to the point where, you know, I brought uh, this girl over from Tinder, and, you know, some of the edibles got, like, really fucking, like, hard, so I started throwing up everywhere, like, fucking everywhere, right, and it just, uh, you know... Messed up my computer. I had to clean it up a bit. And, uh... It was, uh... It was pretty bad. Not gonna lie. My guy, but with that Jordan B. Peterson Patreon money, though! Come on! I hate to break it to you, my guy, but the, the, the thing is, Jordan B. Peterson actually removed his Patreon money. Uh, just because of the fact that he's a massive fucking boomer, and he's telling people to wash their penises and shit like that. I get it, I get it, I totally get it that you're, you're trying to aim that. But listen, listen, I got this. This new era, what we're going through right now, is the age of shitting on the whole anti-social justice warrior types. Because now the traction is becoming, you know... Uh, hot, a lot higher as more people are basically, uh, you know, roasting the shit out of these cringe lords. Now, here's the thing. Our new sites, our new goal is not only to obtain that Jordan B. Peterson Patreon money, but to obtain that ContraPoints money. I mean, look at this shit, right? If you can just pander to certain demographics and moral fag about the oppression Olympics hard enough while sucking the dick to neoliberal corporations, then you too can obtain the power of woke capital and sway dumb lefty Twitter that has uh, in their bios Z, Zim, Thur, or whatever the fuck pronouns just to buy your own useless shit. Okay, we got the whole fucking woke capital and all that kind of bullshit, but what's the point about this whole video, man? Now that's a good question, Ninja. That's a really good question indeed. And the video is just about this person, right? You probably know her from, I don't know, all these booby streams that you see when you were like a kid or some shit. I don't know how fucking Gen Z works, right? But anyways... Uh, there's this person by the name of Brittany Venti, right? And she has the most hottest take of 2019. She just apparently just says like, oh, a porn is completely, you know, wrong and all that kind of stuff. And, well, you, you know, it, it tickles my loins just because of the fact that we did a porn review. Remember that shit, uh, Ninja? We, we did a porn review with uh, this whole thing about Celestia Vega. Do you, do you remember that? Why am I here just to suffer in this predetermined postmodern world? These... Uh, these Hegelian dialectics, Jashway. They hurt me. Every time I tried to beat my dick, and when I finished, it was unpleasant.
wasn't. Why, Pornhub? Why did you make these fucking camera angles on Celestia Vega so poor? It's like beating my dick. To... to... A Brachiosaurus! Yeah, but no, for real, like, fucking... That, that, that was horrible! But anyways, my guy, I'm gonna have to say that... Let's, let's tone it down a bit, and, uh, we're gonna have to, uh, you know, do some, a little bit of banter. Uh, let me take the wheel, you got that fucking academic video. Let me, let me take the wheel this time. A long time ago, I made the decision to no longer date men who watch pornography, and I stand by that decision. I see that a lot of women are being told that they will never have a boyfriend or find a husband if they rely on the fact that they don't watch pornography. You know, all men watch pornography, which isn't true, although it is a minority. There are men out there who don't actively partake in pornography, and I hope that some women know that. Like, I know it's like, whoa, wait, what are you saying? There's men who don't watch pornography? Because, you know, this narrative is being pushed that, you know, women have to allow cuckoldry, essentially. Because that's what pornography is, in my opinion. Like, if you're in a relationship and somebody else is sexually getting off to somebody else, to me ma'am here's that spook sandwich that you ordered my guy you know the the way i perceive this kind of situation my guy literally it, it seems like you're a bit of a possessive little bitch i'm not gonna fucking lie like holy shit let the man beat his own meat i don't give a fuck like Everyone, I'm seeing these fucking chuds slinging around shit everywhere, right? And I'm just sitting here like, yo, maybe porn is a necessary evil in a way. You know what I'm saying? What I mean by porn being a necessary evil is it could probably keep the rapists at bay. Now, imagine in a society when back then there was no internet not not enough like smut magazines everywhere you know we, we, we've been hearing some documented cases of porn and rape or whatever right sexual harassment but imagine back in those traditional times you know that, that's a lot of rape even, and it was harder to document at that time because there wasn't technology around. Holy shit. That feels like cuckoldry and I'm not okay with it. And a lot of women are like me where they're not okay with that and it makes them feel uncomfortable. I've seen so many stories where women will catch their boyfriends watching uh, cam girls pornography and it'll be a girl that's the exact opposite of them. So if the girlfriend is skinny, uh, very lean and tall, maybe the girl they're watching will be short and very curvy, the complete opposite. And uh, I can see why that's hurtful. And I'm sure you guys can understand why too, why pornography can be kind of hurtful to women. And no, it doesn't just mean, oh, you're insecure, bro. Just like let your man jerk off to every woman he sees. I don't think- you know, that comparing yourself to other people, that's by definition of insecurity, my guy. I'm just, just saying, just throwing it out there. I don't know why you're doing this to yourself. My ex tried to push pornography onto me, like, you know, like it was a group participation thing. Like, same, same thing with, with threesomes, like that's just, no. And uh, women are just pushed into believing these things are like, if you're not into it, uh, you're gonna be single forever. And it's just not true, and women need to stop accepting it, because the more women pretend to be okay with it, with the ones who do, who feel like me, the worse you're making the problem, and the more you're encouraging men to watch pornography. And it's just really good for nobody involved. So, yeah, that's my hot take. Enjoy. You know, I kinda see where you're coming from, my dude, but it seems like you're a bit too possessive, uh, in my opinion. But, really, not all fucking men who watch porn are bad people. If anything, right? 
some men that do watch porn might learn a couple of techniques just to please their partner in the future. You know, at least think about that, really. And if anything, right, you, some guys, like, if you talk to any other girls and I talk to guys and they're like, yo, I, I don't know how to fucking finger this bitch or something. And, you know, uh, after watching fucking porn, they learned how to touch the cl clitoris as if it was a scratching DJ turntable. Be like... <laughs> I don't know. You know, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's just so stupid. Like, c come on now. Don't be a Debbie Downer. If anything, like... Yeah, everyone has their own fucking personal preferences and everything like that. But, yo, just let a man fucking nut in peace. Holy shit.